Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to be showing you how to get an absolutely flawless base. First thing I'm doing is applying primer to the skin. Once primer is complete we're going to move on. We're now going to highlight all the areas of the face that I want to stand out. Remember that highlighting is about applying light to the face and anything light comes forward. So I'm applying this to all the areas that I would like to stand out. Next we're going to contour. Now I'm following my bone structure and curving this down. This tends to give a more masculine effect to the skin, so follow your own bone structure. All you're doing with the contour shade is adding darkness and hollows to areas of the face that you wish to recede. So I'm applying this in the areas where I think it's going to look best on my face shape. Next is the most important step of all, and this is the one that very few people do. The highlight and contour shades need to be blended out and blended down so that they form a transparency on the skin. If you don't do this, you'll end up with a very heavy, very thick looking foundation, and that is not the goal. The goal here is to give the illusion of beautiful, flawless skin, so please blend things out. The reason that we blend this out, other than having a more natural effect, is that when you apply foundation next, adding too much product is going to look heavy on the skin. So this shearing out of the product is going to leave you with a beautiful canvas. Next comes foundation. Make sure that you stipple this on the skin. Don't swipe it, don't move it back and forth. Stipple it by pressing it onto the skin. If you use circular motions, you're gonna blend away all of those highlights and contour, which we don't want. We want some of them to show through. That's the purpose of this tutorial. So stipple things on and blend. I used a slightly lighter foundation for the inner areas where there's light and a slightly deeper one for the outside corners where there's dark. Again, I cannot stress enough that there's barely any foundation on the brush, just enough to help cover things up. So please use less than you think. The art of makeup is really all about blending. You shouldn't be able to see where something starts and something ends. And this goes for blush, foundation, concealer, and eyeshadow. So just stipple over the areas. The goal here is that we're building dimension in the skin so that there's this halo effect where it's slightly deeper on the outside and slightly lighter on the inside. Now it's time to set the makeup. I'm using a powder puff and a loose powder and I'm pressing this into the skin. It's important that it's pressed and not kind of moved across the skin because then you're gonna move the foundation. By patting and pressing the powder into the skin, you lock in that foundation and you'll get an all day hold, which is what you're looking for with this technique. So just keep applying it in small layers until everything is perfectly set. I'm going to go in with a bronzer now on the outside perimeter on the areas where I applied the dark contour cream. 
very lightly. I'm just following lightly what I already did. Now it's time to add a bit of colour. Very lightly with a fan brush I'm applying blusher to the high points of the face. I like to keep the blusher high because it gives the illusion of a lifted facial structure. And most people want to lift their face, which is why I'm applying it high. A finishing brush is being used to just make sure that everything is blended together beautifully. Touch more blush. Next I'm going to run through the brows with a brow gel. This is because there's powder and foundation that's caught in the hair of the brow, so we need to redefine them and darken them ever so slightly. This is my favourite trick. I'm reintroducing beauty spots onto the face. This gives the illusion that the skin is more natural by seeing these beauty spots shine through. So I'm applying them where I think they're going to look most beautiful on my face. A very, very light amount of highlighter just on the top of the cheekbones, a very small amount just to give a slight lift. A quick brush with the finishing brush again to make sure all is blended in. Next, a very light coat of waterproof mascara is being applied to the lashes just to make them look black. Because I have a beard, I'm going to contour the beard line using a slightly deeper cream. This is going to give the illusion of a much sharper jawline. Obviously if you don't have a beard you can use your bronzer or contouring product to contour along the jawline. It's just sharpened things up and it just gives an overall polish to the look. Another coat of mascara, waterproof, just to give that really black lash effect. A touch of contour on the nose bridge running into the eyebrow to connect the two together. Blending it in and that completes the look. Thank you for your time, appreciate it, see you soon, bye bye.